In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start streaming from OBS to BoxCast. It's really, really simple and it doesn't take too much time to set up, so let's get started. You're gonna wanna actually start inside the BoxCast dashboard. You're gonna wanna go to the Sources tab over here, and then you'll see that I already have my RTMP source for OBS created. Now, if you haven't created that yet, it's just as easy as clicking Add Source and clicking Add Source here for OBS. All you're gonna need from this is your stream key, so let's copy that. Let's go back over to OBS and let's click on our settings. Now when you go to settings, you're gonna to wanna to go to stream and you're gonna to wanna to select the service as BoxCast. If you're not seeing it in this drop down yet, just click show all and you'll see BoxCast right here. Now we already fill in the server URL for you, but for your stream key, you're gonna to wanna to copy the new one in there. You can take a look at it to make sure it's correct. And then you wanna hit okay. And then once you do that, it's just as easy as hitting start stream. So once we start our stream here, you'll see that OBS begins to fire up. And the way you make sure it's connected is if you go back here and let's do a little refresh. And once we refresh, you'll see that OBS is connected, which means OBS is talking to BoxCast. Now, to do an actual stream, go to the dashboard. You will need to have a broadcast scheduled, which I do here. So if I click on this broadcast, you will see my source is OBS. And you'll see the little green dot there, it means it's connected. Now, I'm technically streaming from OBS, but as you can see here in the dashboard, my broadcast doesn't start for 20 minutes. That is totally okay. We actually recommend sending data to us at least five to 10 minutes early, so that when this broadcast begins at 12.45 in this example, it will automatically start. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to our technical support team at questions at boxcast.com and we'd be happy to help.